up until this point, we've learned how to read files. But we had this annoying thing with the cursor and then we had to close the file. So how can we fix this? Well, a better way to actually do something like this and do file IO with Python is with the built-in with statement. Let me show you. Instead of what we had before, what we're gonna say is with open the name of the file and say as whatever the variable you want. So my file. So now with open, you can actually do something like this, but you don't have to worry about closing. So most of the time you want to use the with statement. This is the proper way to work with files in Python. And if I save here and run my script, oh, I get an error because I forgot the column here. If I run again, there you go. I get my output and I don't need to close my file. Everything is done for me. So this is a standard way to read a file. Now, what if we wanted to write to a file? So far, we've only read. And actually, underneath the hood, open has a default parameter called mode equals to R, which stands for read. So with mode R, we are able to read files. When we don't specify the mode, it automatically just assumes we're reading. But if we wanted to write to a file, we can simply do W for write. So if I run this, you see that I get an error now, unsupported operation, not readable, because, well, the file can only be written. So in order for me to read and write, I can write RW, right? Well, let's see. Nope, that's actually not how it works. You would think it'll be RW, but this is a bit of a trick. In order to read and write, we do read plus. So that if I run this, all right, I'm reading and writing. And I get an empty list because this is now empty. Okay, so let's write to a file here. Let's make this a little bit smaller just so we can see. That's better. Let's say that in this file, I want to have text. And in this text, I'm going to say my file dot write. And I can write whatever piece of text I want. So let's say, hey, it's me. So now in here, if I do print text and I run this, I get 11. Hmm, what is this 11? Well, this isn't really important right now. What we wanna focus on is, hey, it's me. I've written to a file. Okay, so let's say I wanted to open the file again and actually write again. Let's say this time around, I'm going to write a smiley face. If I run this and go back, all right, it looks like I wrote to the file, but, uh oh, is this what we wanted? When we write something to a file, the cursor resets. Remember, when we open a file, the cursor goes to zero and we write to the file. And if there's something already existing in there, well, we overwrite it. So we have to be careful. And by the way, this text file just gave us that we wrote two characters, the smiley face. Okay, so how can we fix this? How can we make sure that we don't break what we have previously, which is, hey, it's me, and I just wanna add a smiley face at the end? Well, we can use the append mode. The append mode is A, and this appends to the end of the file. If I run this, look at that. Hey, it's me with a smiley face. It appends to the end. So that's the append mode. Again, we can use W to write. And if I run this, it adds a smiley face. Now, why did it not do like last time and overwrite the existing thing? 
Well, it's because of our moat. W allows us to write to a file. Previously, when we did read and write, what happened was we read the file. Let's run this again. Actually, let's go back to, hey, it's me, the way it was. And if I run this again, because we did read and write, the cursor was set to zero and overrode it. Versus if we just did the write, it will assume this is a new file and we just want to, well, just add the smiley face. If I click run here, you see that now is just smiley face. So you want to be careful that you use the right mode based on what you need. Now, let's say we wanted to create a file that doesn't exist. Let's have a file called happy.txt. Or actually, no, let's do sad. And this writes a sad face. But remember, we don't have this on our desktop. If I clear this and look at our desktop, we don't have a sad.txt. If I do read plus here, so read and write, and I run this, I get a file not found error. If I do a write here and I run this, all right, it looks like it worked. If I look at the files, I have a sad text now. So now if I open it, I have a sad face text. So write also creates a new file if it doesn't exist already or overwrites the existing one. So you want to be careful once again with the mode, if, whether you want to append, whether you want to read, whether you want to read and write. But most of the time, the most common ones are read, write, and append. Now, in the next video, I want to talk about this idea of a file. I've written text files for now, but we could have written anything. We could have done a .py file if I wanted to. But what about accessing files that are in different locations, such as inside of folders? We're going to explore that topic in the next video.